Hello there YouTube pilot friends and welcome to a quick look back at the Thrustmaster Hosthouse Warthog joystick. I've had it for a couple of months now or so and I'm still really really happy with it apart from one thing and that thing is stiction. Now if you're not sure what stiction is it's uh, the phenomenon where if you move the stick to one position it wants to stay there it doesn't really want to go back to centre too easily and you only really notice it I suppose when you've been quite gentle with the device so if I grip it firmly and move it around it's still no problem at all but if I show you this I'm going to put a finger there pull it back and then just start releasing the pressure I'll do that again. So I'm just trying to back the pressure off uniformly. And you can see you can see it's sticking there. It's um it is a common problem, apparently. These um these sticks do this. And I probably knew about this when I bought it, so it, it was a case of buy beware. There are fixes out there. Now you might think I'm sort of cheating bit here. So what I'm going to do is show you this. We'll have to smooth the hotas out of the way. That is an extremely cheap and not too pleasant old joystick of mine. Um, the kind of thing you can get from £30 or, or less. And if I, I'll have to hold the base down. If I pull this one back and then just try and back the pressure off. It's very smooth. Show you again. So there's a cheap joystick. And here's our extremely expensive HOTAS. There you go. We'll look at one more joystick. And um, this one's a completely different type. Microsoft Force Feedback 2. So you can see at the moment it's not connected at all, it's floppy. Uh, but it's a force feedback one, so by putting my finger there, force feedback's in. I expect this one will be a little bit sticky, but let's have a look. Hmm, do that again. Again, it's pretty smooth really, and that's with a motor driving it back rather than a spring. So I got stiction problems here. Not good. Now I am um, I'm gonna contact Thrustmaster I think and see if they've got any solutions. I know that they Say you can grease the stick, you can take it apart, which is one of the great things about it. Um, and I've seen YouTube tutorials on here, obviously, with people sanding down bits inside, uh, putting all kinds of exotic grease in there. One person I'm in contact with has said that he didn't do the sanding particularly, but he did put all sorts of grease in. It didn't make a lot of difference. There's still some slight stiction. And you're probably thinking, well, you know, what's the problem with this? If you can grip it tightly and move it like that, it's not going to be an issue. And for some things, I suppose you're right, but if I'm flying precision things um, on, on the sim, then I want to fly it like the aircraft, just fingertip t touches, bump, centre, bump, hold. It doesn't want to come back to centre, it's going to jump. Or if I'm playing something like DCS and want to aim, so maybe I'm holding the trigger down halfway and just trying to pressure in little corrections. It's going to be a problem. I don't know if you can hear this on the video, but actually if I move it, you might hear the thing actually sticking. Try it 
try that again. It's going very quietly there. But um, anyway, there we go. So it does have a stiction problem. I'm going to see if I can fix it. Um, the question for you, of course, is would I say don't buy this stick now? The funny thing is, I'd say still buy it. I still think it's absolutely brilliant. The quality of it, barring that sticking, which is an issue, is great. The feel of the buttons is still superb. The build quality of the whole unit is fabulous. The throttles are great. There's loads of assignable buttons. It's transformed my use of the flight simulators on the PC. So I'm still, even though it's got this issue, advocating that I would buy one again. Well, I hope that's helpful, and I'll try and keep you up to speed if, um, if anything changes on that. Okay, you take care. Bye.